All right, it's time for today's Money Smart. Today, financial expert MJ Harris is here answering your questions. Good to see you. Good to see you both. Got the, the great smile always. <laughs> oh, thank All right, you. So best dressed and best smile. Right, exactly. <laughs> let's get to this question. Today's viewer is Shannon from Chino Hills, and she says that she has been married for almost five years, and in the last six months, her mom lost her job and filed for bankruptcy. And to help her mother out, she recently moved her mother into her home and has given her money, which has made her family's financial situation a bit tough. And her husband now annoyed with the situation and says they need to set some boundaries. How can she support her mother financially without jeopardizing her marriage? Big question. That's a good question. Let me tell you this. I may step on Shannon's toes a little bit with this, mm -hmm. but I'm going to tell you the reality is that there's something called survivor's remorse. There's the whole idea that after we come out of something that could be a really tough situation, so for example, growing up in, a, in, in an impoverished situation, we feel the need to try to pull everyone else out of it. Mm -hmm. And I think that the trouble with it is that in doing that, we sometimes can sacrifice everything that we've built. She has got a great marriage. She's got enough financial stability to be able to help her mother. But the problem is she is at risk of really alienating her husband behind trying to help her mother. It's and so, like when you're on an airplane, they say put the oxygen mask around yourself first. You got to help yourself. Right? That is the absolute best analogy. Yeah. It really is true. You've got to take care of yourself first. And what I really think for Shannon and anyone else who's in this situation who feels guilt around saying I got to help other people, such as family members, mm -hmm. offer help in a balanced way. Talk with your husband. Decide what can we do for my mother. Set that budget and stick within it. Because here's the thing: her husband's annoyed, but that annoyance can turn to alienation if she's not mm -hmm. careful. Easier said than done, though. But most things that are worth doing are easier yes. said than done. So when you say to him, hey, these are the boundaries, what happens if she goes over that? I mean, what are you going to do, kick her out? Well, I, the boundaries <laughs> are for her and her husband to keep. Yeah. It's not for the mother to keep. Okay. She's got to set the boundaries with her and her husband and make a decision around how they're going to stick within that. If she doesn't choose to keep those boundaries mm. herself, then she's going to have to deal with some consequences from her husband. Okay. So, Lou, I follow MJ on Instagram. I do, too. And it, it's great because you're always full of such positive energy. The, the, only, the only sort of quarrel I have with you, <laughs> you always tell people, you say that if you've got someone negative in your life, uh -huh. you need to push them away. But what if that person is saying something you deem to be negative, mm -hmm. but it's like, hey, maybe you shouldn't go climb that volcano right now. Well, let me tell you this. I think I believe in something called discernment. So the whole idea that although someone may say something to you that you don't like, you've got your instincts that can tell you if it's something mm. that's going to be constructive criticism or something that's tearing you down. Listen to that voice first. You can't push away everyone just because they say something you don't like. Like you said, some things don't feel good, but they're actually helpful for you. Trust your gut. Trust your gut. All right. He knows Thank it you, all. MJ. Thank yes, you, MJ. he does. It. All right. Thanks we so appreciate much. it. We'll see you soon. And remember to get financial advice from MJ. All you have to do is sign up at mymoneyhaspower.com. We'll see you soon. See you both.